Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss, is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. For more information, go to bookmap.com. There's a free trial there. Uh, the, the free trial is for 14 days. It gives you access to Bookmap as well as Bookmap resources. Okay, so uh, we have an advanced order flow uh, webinar that is open to those that are in trial or current customers, and that is at 11 Eastern, so in about 28 minutes. Okay, if you have any questions, you can reach us at uh, support at bookmap.com. Uh, and um, uh, let's take a quick look here. Let me show you where you can find Bookmap. Okay, so bookmap.com. Uh, come up here. Uh, let's click on Explore. There's some intro videos for those of you who are new here. Uh, and then we'll scroll down here. Uh, various information about Bookmap. Uh, there's Bookmap for equities here. So uh, with NASDAQ Total View, nice feature. Uh, and then connectivity. Okay, we're not a data provider. You will need one of these data providers to connect Bookmap. Okay, Bookmap is a platform just like any other trading platform out there. Okay, uh, and then the um, free trial is here. Uh, so there's the basic, advanced, and quant. And in general, though, there's just one version of Bookmap. Okay, Bookmap Basic, uh, 49 per month, build quarterly, and you get a 14-day trial period. Okay, now the Bookmap Advanced has uh, added features. Okay, the ability to trade right from the Bookmap chart, and then these uh, add-on features that you see here. Okay, these are proprietary add-ons uh, for uh, that, that we've created, and they're for understanding order flow uh, a lot better. So they're not your typical uh, kind of uh, derivative of time, price, or volume. Uh, they're showing much different uh, uh, data here. So, for example, large lot tracker. It shows you larger players in the marketplace. Okay, where they are positioning their limit orders, volume, and book imbalances uh, in uh, uh, the historical and current limit order book, uh, and then the uh, iceberg detector, okay, showing uh, where iceberg orders are uh, uh, being discovered uh, on the chart. And we also have a correlation tracker and others. Okay, for those of you who are quants, you can reach out to us uh, here by clicking the Learn More button. Uh, all right, you can also follow us here on Twitter at Bookmap underscore Pro, and you can also. Uh, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and uh, you can see here the um, uh, features and components for those of you who are new and want to understand what Bookmap is showing you uh, in general. And then these order flow video snippets, um, you can see there's actually uh, a new one up here right now. Uh, just uh, just added it um, uh, just a, a while ago. And in fact, let me uh, give you the link for it. I don't. I don't think it's actually. Uh, it's unlisted here, so you might not have access to it. Okay. This is something we covered yesterday, though. Uh, and um, anyway, I'll put it in the chat here for you. There you go. Um. All right. So. The order flow video snippets are what we go through in the in the webinars, right? So it's understanding the uh, uh, order flow phenomena uncovered by Bookmap, right? And that's what we get into in, in detail here. These are just you know pretty quick videos, um, you know they're a few minutes each and just go through it in uh, a concise manner. Okay, uh, all right. Let's uh, let's take a look here uh, at Bookmap and what it's showing you. Uh, look at some higher time frame stuff. Yeah, we'll look at the Nasdaq. That looks pretty good. We see some movement here. Uh, and uh, what are we looking at here? Okay, so it looks like there's a lot of data here. All right, and it uh, looks like it might be uh, pretty complex stuff here. Uh, looking at Bookmap, it's actually not. It's actually pretty simple stuff. Um, I mean, we do have an indicator sub panel here. I'm going to close that. Okay, uh, and uh, what we're looking at here, just three things basically. Historical, best bid and offer. The volume dots show where the volume traded uh, and uh, what type of volume and where and when. Uh, and then uh, this heat map here, it just shows you, it's the um, historical uh, view of the dome, okay, of the, of the uh, limit order book over here in the uh, current order book column. Okay, this is the liquidity uh, in the dome, and uh, we record it and project it onto the chart. Uh, let's see here. Um, 
John, uh, John, had a, you had a question um, that uh, I, I would cover here in the webinar. Uh, so um, uh, I think uh, support had uh, uh, reached out to you. So let, let me know uh, what what was your question. I, I forget um, uh, what it uh, what it was. What what you'd like to uh, to cover, and that's exactly what these webinars are for. Okay. So uh, uh, there's been a lot of um, it's been great to see this. Uh, a lot of uh, current customers. Um, long-time customers uh, coming into uh, these webinars um, and um, uh, that's what they're for uh, is to um, go over the uh, features and components here in bookmap okay uh, and uh, to understand that okay uh, the uh, explain the book uh, and volume percentages at the top of the bar all right let's just do that immediately all right so this is one of those add-ons here uh, now I'll get into the details here again. It back back to simplifying what Bookmap is showing you here. Okay, in the uh, uh, in the chart, uh, you know, like I said, it's, it's just it's it's pretty basic stuff. Uh, it's not a derivative of time, price, or volume. It, it's no indicator here. It's the market. It's a very objective view of the market. Right? And I'll get into that in just a bit in a minute. Um, what John is talking about is one of the uh, add-on features, and it's up here. Okay, this is the bo order book uh, and volume and balance indicators. Okay, uh, and uh, this is what you get with the add-on package here in the advanced uh, uh, features uh, book map. All right, that's just one of them, uh, and uh, there's settings for this too, uh, and I'll, I'll go through it here in detail. Um, can they help? Uh, yeah, I mean, look for over, overbought, oversold. Well, uh, it is an imbalance that you're looking for, right? And uh, I would, um, I mean, with the way that we use these uh, add-on indicators is for confluence at areas. It's not really like a signal, okay? Uh, and we're, we're um, it's an added confluence. So, for example, I mean, we're going to see uh, a book imbalance here on the uh, on the sell side, and we see it's negative 10 percent, 14 percent up here. Why? I mean, because this is the the or, is it's uh, making the computation for all of the limit orders here, uh, historically and current, uh, in the Nasdaq, and um, it's making it for this viewable chart range. Okay, everything we see in our chart. So if I zoom in, we're going to get a different computation. Okay, it's actually a little higher. Uh, it makes uh, pretty good sense because all of these orders here, uh, or uh, contracts here, are, are going to be in uh, in the uh, computation for the order book and balance, and they're mostly on the sell side. So we have a very negative number up here. Okay, uh, how to use this, John, is a, is a whole different story. Okay, uh, we want to understand the context of the liquidity. Okay, we're trending up. Uh, we don't see aggressive behavior here in that limit order book. So just because we see a book and balance, what we know is that this is high liquidity, but it's staying here. It's not being aggressive yet, um, and uh, it might if we see them lower the offer here, okay? And then that, that this will give us a different picture. But right now, uh, I'm looking for this area to get tested, the 61.22, all right? Um, and uh, because we're trending up at the moment, okay? And you can see how we're trending up and filling this longer term high liquidity that stays in the book. Okay, great example is right here. Right into it and it trades and it goes sideways. Okay, absorbing it. They're absorbing the uh, uh, the um, uh, aggressive buy orders. Here we come up and now we're testing into 61.22. There we go. Okay, there's our test. Okay, so we know there's high liquidity up here and uh, there's just staying in the book. Okay, so it's not giving us like any sort of kind of reversal uh, overbought oversold uh, is just giving us uh, understanding uh, that the book is pretty pretty heavily skewed here uh, on the sell side okay now we're, we're trending up but we're if we see for example um, what if we get a, a, the, the book flips what if these guys pull and then they, they're adding here on the uh, on the bid very aggressively okay from this area where we broke from here okay you know and they are here actually uh, but uh, it's not uh, it's not the greatest uh, look right now um, and what if we saw that and, and it really being built out here 
uh, heavily, heavily skewed. Well, then, uh, you know, we're looking for uh, their supporting price at a higher level. And what if they start to chase and we see this book skew here? Well, yeah, I mean, then then uh, it, it's telling us something. I mean, uh, uh, I'm, I'm looking for uh, uh, them. They're supporting price. They want to be buyers down here and they're being aggressive. Uh, the book uh, is is positive and I'm looking for uh, it to find targets here and in, in the limit order book uh, on the um, on the offer. OK. All right. So the, um, the limit order book that has some settings here. So let's click on the studies configuration. All right. And um, uh, I'm going to I'm just going to go through this in, in some detail here I, I, in this webinar. All right. So uh, uh, it's been a while since we've gone through this. OK. So I uh, uh, hope this answers any of your questions, uh, John. And uh, for for those of you. Um, uh, have any other questions? Uh, let me know. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna cover this in a in a bit of detail here. Um, okay, so right now it's making. I don't have any. You, you click on the the um, studies configuration. Click on order book and balance here. That's the first one we're looking at. And there's some uh, uh, different um, ways of calculating the skew. Okay, right now it's making it for all levels in the book. Right. So uh, if I let's zoom in here. And now if I zoom vertically, okay, so um, the, the skew here is about, you know, somewhere between 10 and 15%. If I uh, sc uh, scroll vertically here, look how it's 50% now, okay? Why is that? Because I'm including everything in the book. And we see there's, um, you know, historical liquidity down here uh, that is making the skew. Uh, and it's, being, it's in the calculation now. Okay, so uh, that's uh, uh, that's not really helping me though, because that that happened a long time ago. So that's why we're offering here uh, these uh, uh, different settings. Okay, and this will limit the levels to calculate. So let's bring that down. Okay, let's bring it down to eight or ten. Let's say ten. Right. So there we go. Now it's at ten, and, uh, and you know it's it's calculating uh, uh, a halo uh, around uh, current price. Uh, and um, uh, that calculation is now so, so no, note if I uh, if I zoom out it's not making a calculation down here okay uh, it's uh, it will uh, down in this area here for that brief time okay but that's it because there's it's kind of a 10 on the offer 10 on the bid uh, constantly okay so that's how it works uh, and um, there's another setting here too OK, so that's that one. And then the uh, the next one here is to uh, there's a decay rate. OK, so it's a half life uh, and we can weight these exponentially. Uh, the way it works is every um, let's just go with six. Well, yeah, let's go with three, actually three and ten. So it's calculating all ten levels. But the first three levels are going to be weighted 50 uh, percent more than the next uh, seven levels. OK. So uh, I just remember that's the uh, the cutoff here, right? Uh, and um, yeah, so we're going to see a different calculation now because those levels, three levels, are going to be uh, weighted uh, as being um, uh, you know double the importance, All right? Okay, the uh, order book, uh, the volume and balance. This is well, this one's really straightforward. There are no settings for it because it's just calculating one level. It's the volume, okay? And um, uh, and we can see that there is no skew right now, okay, uh, and for this whole calculation. Now, if we zoom in here, we're going to see a skew, and it's going to be, um, well, yeah, we can see it to the upside here because we see more aggressive uh, uh, buying coming in here, all right? Okay, so uh, let's see. More traders are looking to trade when, um, no, I, you know, it's, it's, it's contextual uh, again like um, uh, it's, it's, it's understanding the um, the skew uh, and the kind of overall uh, skew so um, one of the ways to uh, to utilize this uh, this indicator here there's many ways right uh, but um, uh, one of them was we, we recognize that um, like we just went through uh, we first we recognize the context of this liquidity okay now here's our breakout Right. Okay. And and we, we recognize the context of this liquidity. Look at how uh, there was high liquidity and there was a skew to the book. Right. We knew that. 
Uh, but we also knew that this uh, liquidity is just staying here. It's not being aggressive. It's just uh, in the book and the market knows it can trade there. And it just did, okay, in a big way. Uh, and, um, uh, you know, now now I'm, I'm actually looking for uh, a bit of a, of a pullback now because uh, we're, we're, you know, these, these limit orders here started to uh, absorb this price, okay? Uh, or these, it, they absorb these aggressive market orders here. All right. So uh, we're going to start to note that, um, uh, you know, if, if, so for example, when they pulled here, okay, note how we uh, shot through here really quickly. Okay. Because there is, there's less liquidity. Okay. It, it, it targeted this high liquidity and traded right into it. All right. So, uh, and now here's our pullback. Okay, this is what we're looking for, right? So let's see if the buyers start to step in now. Okay, maybe they start to get aggressive again because this is where we broke from, right? And then uh, maybe we'll get a retest of the high here, okay? Maybe uh, 61.25, right? So uh, looking at the limit order book, well, it was just telling us there was a skew, uh, and we knew that. Uh, but, um, uh, you know, the... Um, Let's try to find an area where we see maybe a, a reversal, maybe down here. Okay, uh, let's zoom in there. All right, uh, we see the absorption on the way down. Okay, and um, uh, higher liquidity, uh, and then uh, down in this area here. Okay, now we're starting to see something a little different, uh, and um, uh, we're uh, we're seeing a positive book here. Okay. Uh, and um, uh, at, at this point, uh, it's it's a little it's a little different because now look at the um, behavior of that liquidity too. Uh, they're pretty aggressive. Okay, this is the low, and and they're bidding up at higher levels here, so this is looking pretty good. And we see they're being pretty aggressive, so the book is pretty heavily skewed here, right? This is where uh, in a reversal, uh, you know, it, it can give you clues to that reversal here. Okay, it's, 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 this is really good confluence. All right. So, um, uh, yeah, look, look for the, you know, the buy side here. Now, the volume uh, is still, I mean, we're seeing the aggressive volume come in here now. But this is, this in this chart range here, this is skewing that, uh, that calculation. So it's negative still. Okay. Watch as I uh, start, as this data starts to go outside of the calculation. See how the volume just immediately shifted, right? Okay, so uh, and it's going to go positive here, pretty pretty aggressively, and there you go. Okay, so we want to understand uh, specific areas. Now, the, one of the ways to use this um, this indicator to to understand the imbalances uh, is to put this data within your chart range. Okay, so let's go in and and start to look at this area here. Uh, you know, we come down here, we, we see the aggressive book. Now I'm waiting for that volume to kind of flip around. And we're starting to see it right here. Okay. So, uh, um, you know, maybe you want to wait and, and look for a little more volume to give you the uh, uh, the clue here uh, that uh, that that uh, reversal is imminent here. All right. And then now we see the uh, the uh, volume go positive. Okay. So maybe, maybe line these up and w w wait for the... Um, uh, you know, the volume, the aggressive volume to catch up to the aggressive book. Or if you want, I mean, you, you can, uh, you know, it would be less, um, uh, you know, you wouldn't be, uh, you'd be looking for a little more uh, confluence uh, if you, um, uh, you would have less confluence if you just looked at one of the numbers here. Uh, and then jumped in, but that's up to your risk profile. You know, if you want to uh, to to jump right in uh, and then start to anticipate this this volume to jump in here, because you, you're noticing this behavior here. Well, that's up to you. Is and then if you see the uh, the volume uh, start to change over, well, you 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 grabbed it. You know, you got it. Uh, look look to take maybe a pro half half target. Uh, you know, uh, up here or half of your profits up here. Look for a pullback and re-enter. You know, there's all sorts of different ways of uh, uh, of looking at it and utilizing it. Okay, so I, I hope that helps, John. We've gone through this almost the entire time. Uh, for you new guys here, we're going to go through this quickly. Um, and um, 
you know, the, we do this every day. Uh, so um, I think uh, uh, you can, you know, if you have any questions, you can always uh, reach out to me uh, at bruce at bookmap.com. Uh, but um, uh, in general, you know, we want to just cover what Bookmap is showing here. And it's in, like I uh, started off with the webinar, it's pretty simple stuff. Uh, it's a very objective view here of the market, right? And um, uh, what we're looking at here, and I'm going to start taking off uh, some of the uh, dots uh, or the volume, or we're going to take off everything here, right? We're just going to look at a candlestick chart. Now we have a new new uh, uh, feature on the candlesticks as well, uh, but uh, I'm not going to cover that right now. Okay, here's our candlestick chart. We know what this looks like. Uh, we know what it is: open, high, low, close of a period. But there's so much more information here that we just don't see. All right, let's add historical um, best bid and offer. Now we're starting to see structural areas. Okay, that that's lacking here in this five-minute candlestick chart completely. I mean, we don't understand the structure here. We don't understand that uh, uh, the breakout here. Uh, and then uh, looking for, uh, we don't understand that high liquidity that is here either, okay? Uh, there was, um, uh, we, we nailed it. I mean, we, we saw that they were staying in the book, and we were starting to uh, anticipate th those areas to get tested because that's where the market, the market needs it to trade, right? Um, so um, uh, that's just how it works. Uh, and uh, uh, that's the transparency that uh, uh, Bookmap is allowing, all right, so now that's just historical best bid and offer. Let's turn on the volume dots. Now we're looking at uh, something uh, really important uh, in, a, in a chart, and most of us are very uh, accustomed to um, uh, studying volume. Okay, but now we can see the um, where exactly the volume traded. Okay, with the uh, the size of the dot uh, and the color of the dot, it gives us what type of volume it is. Okay, and, and exactly where and when it traded down to nanosecond level, right? And, um, and we can see that uh, uh, this was aggressive buying, pulling it up out of this out of this area. And then we we were look, looking for uh, 61.22 to get tested here, uh, and it did uh, right into it. Uh, and then uh, and then we see the uh, even higher liquidity. Well, we don't see liquidity here right now, right? Uh, that's that's a, a problem. Uh, we don't see the liquidity. We don't know why it traded here and why it pulled back and why we're looking for um, uh, another retest of the high. Okay, we don't understand any of that by looking at this. Okay, uh, but uh, once we turn on the liquidity, we do. Okay, so what this signifies here, uh, and let's take off the candle because it's just getting confusing. Um, what this signifies here is is the historical view of the limit order book. Okay, so let's zoom in. Here's your limit order book in uh, in Bookmap. Okay, your dome. Uh, and um, let me just uh, left click, hold, and drag these around to make it a, a little bit bigger. Uh, this is the dome, the depth of market. Okay, uh, liquidity on the offer, liquidity on the bid, best bid and offer right here. Okay, these numbers change all the time. When they change, they're reflected in this window in the heat map. Okay, here's our best bid and offer, last traded volume. Okay, and um, uh, the when the number changes and uh, there's high liquidity, they're painted bright white. Okay, where all of this gets really interesting is we take that uh, liquidity and it's recorded and projected onto the chart. Okay, and that's it. So that's all we're looking at. Uh, yet it allows us uh, tremendous insight here. Okay, starting to understand the context of this liquidity in the auction, okay, and uh, starting to anticipate uh, just due to their behavior here, okay, that uh, some of these areas are going to get tested. Okay, our 60, uh, 61.22 got tested, so a pretty deep pullback here, but uh, right back up uh, to uh, uh, test this liquidity here. These guys pull, and it gets filled up here instead. All right, so that that now now we have an understanding of why the market uh, came up to this area, why we see big transactions, and uh, why we started to anticipate a uh, a return back down, uh, and then a return back up. Okay, and um, uh, just because of all of this liquidity here in the map, okay, and the traded volume, but the the liquidity gave us some really nice insights here. 
All right. Well, that, that about wraps it up. I uh, hope that was helpful for you guys. Uh, and um, uh, John, let me know if you have any other questions. But, uh, uh, you know, um, one of the one of the key things about the, using this um, uh, book in volume and balance is the zoom levels. OK, because that's where it's going to make a calculation. So, for example, uh, you want to calculate maybe this area up here. Right. Well, let's zoom in and put that area within our chart range. OK, now we have the insight. Right. OK, so uh, uh, the aggressive volume. Uh, well, the volume is now we see a shift. Right. So uh, it, now it's starting to uh, uh, become uh, neutral or, or negative. OK, once this comes out of the picture here, though, it's going to be negative. No, no question. OK, book is looking pretty positive down here. Right. So um, and we can see it in the heat map. Uh, but um, uh, uh, we're looking at uh, these areas in terms of, uh, uh, of context, right? So zooming in and studying those areas is what's going to give you the insight uh, in that. Um, it's one of the ways to use it, okay? All right, guys. Well, let's uh, wrap it up, call it a day, and uh, we'll see you in the next webinar. Okay, thanks.